Fuck yeah. Yeah. Welcome to a live episode of My Mama Told Me. <laughs> the podcast where we dive deep, deep into the pockets of black conspiracy theories. <laughs> And we finally work to prove that the train by the Quad City DJs is not a song about sexual deviance. It's just a jam about people who love to ride on trains. Damn. Damn. Autism speaks. <laughs> this is what the show's like. I don't know what y'all are going to do. Yeah, it's not going to get better than this. I feel already you guys are tense. I don't know. The music wasn't very loud. You're scattered quite a bit. This man's very Look, alone. Look, if you hate cops just because of <laughs> cops, next time you get in trouble, call a crackhead. Call a crackhead. <laughs> How's everybody feeling? Are you guys okay? Yeah. Fuck yeah. yeah. For those of you that are, that are unfamiliar with what we do here, David and I run a podcast about black conspiracy theories. We, we unpack the, the most known and unknown black conspiracy theories. I am wondering what some of you are doing here. Uh, you don't exactly seem like the target demo that we were aiming for, but frankly, we'll take it. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah, we're not going to put you out, but you better show the fuck up. You know what I mean? Also, shut the fuck up. You can't say <laughs> Yeah, don't chime in, but be real good laughers. Yeah, and truthfully, don't look at me. <laughs> I'm mostly talking to these gentlemen of golfers right here. <laughs> you fellas look like you hit the links quite a bit, and I don't know that you're listening to the podcast while you do it. There's too many niggers for the golf club. <laughs> Somebody Bad said, guy. well, <laughs> that's I mean, right. I think, I think now that we've got the intros out, let's just talk. Up, we got to we got to pose it to the, yeah. what we were talking about. Oh, wait, upstairs. but should we wait for Zach to be able to, to advocate? I think we should let everyone chime in on it. That's as they fair. Come out. So we were having is, we were having a pretty heated debate the backstage. Deep we, black talk. It, deep, it, important black talk. Yelling at each other almost. It was, it was it started to get a little intense because we we were in disagreement about whether or not Countess Vaughn, do we remember Countess Vaughn? Yeah. Yeah. All right. This isn't going to go well. The, not for you. We were in a pretty heated debate about whether or not Countess Vaughn could get it. Today. Right now. Right now. Would you smash Countess Vaughn of Moesha fame? I see you asking Moesha. She was Moesha's best friend, Kim, on the show. They later had a spinoff called The Parkers. The Parkers. She played the, the daughter to Monique back when Monique uh, did different stuff. Beautiful voice. Langston said she couldn't sing. <laughs> he said that upstairs. He said, that stupid bitch, she can't even sing. I said... <laughs> I said, don't do that to Countess Langston. Don't uh, you do that to her. I didn't call her stupid. I said, that devil-eyed bitch, she can't <laughs> sing. I was very clear. I think she's a bright girl, but them eyes are untrustworthy. Exactly, from, the from devil. Them eyes? No, thank you. But by quick show of hands. Raise your hands. <laughs> yeah, raise your hands for this audio medium. I, we need this for us. You can tell what's going on. Raise your hands if you would smash Countess Vaughn today. Today. It was just oh one hand God. in the back. I knew it. I knew oh I was God. right. That's Nobody not, else. That's not how I thought that was going to go. He was so confident upstairs. You should have saw him. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, no, it's fine not to be gay. You know whether or not you would smash. Yeah, I don't like tell. dick, but I know plenty of that. There's some fellas in here I'd fuck. Yeah, I'd... Fellas, I picked on you, but I'd smash a few of you. I'd fuck Leon. Leon? If I had to fuck a dude. Of, of uh, Cool Runnings fame? Above the rim, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dealer's choice, I guess, in that. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'd fuck Leon. Yeah, no problem. But he's yeah, strong. Yeah. We'd, we'd all be so lucky to fuck Leon. I'm really still reeling about nobody wanting to smash Candace Vaughn. Just that one lady in the back was down. It's really just me and Zach Fox. We're the only real ones in here. Yeah. Yeah. That's the best part. <laughs> she looked like a cat clock. I'm not fucking her. I'm not fucking a goddamn cat clock. 
She moving back and forth. Get the fuck out of here, Countess Vaughn. It's hypnotizing. I hope she's here tonight. <laughs> I do too. Should we get we we we're we have so many exciting guests. We have a lot of exciting games that we want to play. This is gonna be a fun time. I hope you guys are feeling good and you're excited. We're we're gonna kick this thing off with a conspiracy theory that David and I you said it last night, and I don't disagree with you that this might be one of the most uh disturbing conspiracy theories that we've come across in recent months. Yeah, this one makes me uncomfortable. Yeah, it's a real fucked up one, so I don't know if it's the best way to start for you guys who are already a little tense, but we'll figure it out together. <laughs> it's going to be great. I think it's going to be good. Uh, we, we came across, David actually came across a conspiracy theory. Do you want to say it? I mean, let's just show the video. Okay, yeah, we came across a conspiracy theory that's all explained in this TikTok video right here. You heard the conspiracy that Big Pharma took out Kobe Bryant? Whoa, no, I have not. That's crazy. So Ooh. he was in a legal battle with this company that was using the Black Mamba name to sell these energy supplements. Apparently, not only was he suing them because they were using the Black Mamba name, right? but also because they were lacing these energy supplements with opioids. Whoa. Can we pause it, it right like there? Get... <laughs> I think there's a few things to unpack. <laughs> Number one, calling those energy supplements feels generous. Those are dick pills. Yeah, that's a honey pack for sure. I think we all agree those are gas station dick pills. That's not energy supplements. That don't got no vitamins in it. That got dick medicine. I'm not taking Black Mamba to study for finals. No. <laughs> I got to take this black mama. The GREs are coming up. <laughs> no, it's fucking, those are dick pills. Fucking and the, you don't name it after a snake if you don't want it to. No, it's your about your penis. Your penis. Yeah. That's, and frankly, I, I would argue that maybe the black mama was just a coincidence. He's like, they were like, what's the biggest, the biggest black thing we can reference? Black Mamba. Black Mamba. I think Kobe, sh I think more people should get behind dick pills, to be honest. Oh, you're an investor. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah. Like, some of these R&B stars that we forgot about, they should go into... Like, Whoa. I would take a Shaggy dick pill. <laughs> right now. Like, if they were just called Boombastics. <laughs> that's, of course, that's like no-brainer. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then, that's nice, because if something goes wrong, he's like, it wasn't me. Yeah. <laughs> I had nothing to do with that. I'm Shaggy, baby. That's what cool, you talking about? That's cool, motherfucking blood, nigga. <laughs> You know nothing about that. Okay, Anyways. we'll we'll keep playing whatever this is. People more addicted to yeah, them so that yeah, they keep yeah. on buying them. That's crazy. He's in a venture capitalist partnership with yeah. someone uh -huh. named Jess Stiebel. I, I, can we pause it right there? That he might be linked to it in some. I do really like that guy's pose in the picture. <laughs> it, he he does seem like an evil motherfucker in yeah. a way that. That kind of then makes me believe in the conspiracy a little bit. He he see he's over the shoulder yeah, a little bit. He looks he, like a dick pill magnet. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Like he would put some real bad in gas station dick pills. <laughs> All right, keep it going. Let's get to that, or not? Boy, <laughs> because Jeff Stiebel was invested in lo those three separate companies that Kobe Bryant was suing. Wow. And the thing is, his court date was three days. Before he died. So, so they may have been like, look, he can't show up to that. Something that really pushes this for me is the thought of, you haven't heard anything about this, right? No. But if Kobe Bryant went and testified, right. and he had been talking about then it. Then we would have heard about it. A lot more people would have heard yeah, about it. He's one of the <laughs> biggest athletes of this generation. You know that, that classic case of, you haven't heard about it, so it must be true. <laughs> The, the other problem I have with this, and, and I have a fair amount of problems, but the other problem I have is that he says that the court case is three days before he died. Before. Which means that the he nigga had, did go to the case. He went and tested. <laughs> and then they're like, kill him in a helicopter anyway. <laughs> yeah. We didn't like how he showed up. I also, <laughs> one big issue I have with this, 
I don't think you can put all the opioids you want into gas station dick pills. Yeah. It's not going to sell anymore because nobody's expect. You're either a gas station dick pill person or you're not. Yeah. Right? Like, it's decided at birth. That's not That's not like a hill you go over. No. <laughs> later. You know what I mean? You're never like, let yeah. me get some Trident. And... It's not, that's not a nature nurture thing. You no. Were, you were born that way. You were way. born that way. You were born. Some of us were born that way. Some yeah. of us weren't. Some people are born trans. Some people are born gas station dick pill people. 100%. And they that's, should all be able to vote. Yeah. Progressive as fuck, man. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. <laughs> So how do you feel about, overall, how do you feel about this? I don't believe it uh, even for a second. It feels, it feels uh, dangerous at best. It doesn't feel realistic that Kobe Bryant was killed by Big Pharma in this way. I will say that I do believe in the possibility that, that pharmaceutical companies would intentionally poison their people, and we've seen it over and over again, right? Pills, things that get pitched, sold, whatever the fuck, are constantly being fed to us that are not actually checked the way that they say or, or, or kept in the safe environments that they're meant to be kept in. All of that shit can be true, but I don't think that they had to like take Kobe out to, to keep doing it. I don't believe it because wh who? how did you do it? There was no killer. It was a plane crash. Like, right. if you got to the helicopter pilot, he yeah. died too. Right. <laughs> like, there's no... who. who yeah. You, you they, like, called the helicopter pilot and were like, you know your wife's cheating on you. He's like, oh, no! Oh, fuck! I like that you drive a helicopter like a car. <laughs> ah! I ain't never been in a helicopter before. You, yeah, don't, no, you don't have a steering wheel? I think you got. <laughs> Wait, do it again. Damn, man. You're a worldly guy. Thank you, man. Should we get to our first guest? Should we? Let's just open it up. Let's right. open this bad boy. I'm really we, ha we have a lot of really cool fucking people that we're really excited to have on the show. And our first guest is, a, she. I can't think of a better person to start this shit off. She's so funny, so talented. She is a, a writer, an actor, a, a podcaster. She has a, a very cool podcast called Unglamorous Truths that's out right now that y'all should check out. But most importantly, you know her best from her work on Southside. She, she plays Officer Turner on Southside, a dear friend. Give it up for Chandra Russell! <laughs> Oh! Look at my dog. He's as black as can be. <laughs> yeah. You go in the middle. Yeah. yeah come in the middle. Awkward. Hello. No. <laughs> they got quiet. They should have kept clapping until you yeah, sat down. Keep... It's all right. Oh, thank you. Thank These goddamn you. people are animals, and that's not your fault. Thank you. It's all right. I was still stuck on the Countess situation. So yeah. You know, Where do you fine. stand on Countess Gate? I mean, I, I fuck with Countess Vaughn. Sure. So. Damn. <laughs> Apparently not a popular opinion. No, no. I saw two shaky hands go up. <laughs> I, I expected a, at least some more in the middle, but you never know. No. You never no. know, but I knew. Yeah, you know. I knew, and I was you right. You called it. You called it. Uh, Chandra, we're really excited you're here. Uh, you you have done the podcast before. Mm -hmm. Your episode, Chandra did an episode where we talked about uh, the 23andMe. Yep. Not giving your DNA to 23andMe. And it is information that I still hold dear uh, mm -hmm. ever since. That, like, yep. you really should not be giving your fucking blood or mouth swabs or anal swabs. I don't know no. what y'all are into. Don't do it. Don't do it. And they're going to lie to you. They told my nephew he was Asian. So you're not Asian. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> and the boy ain't Asian. Nope. Nope. Little, little white on his mama's side, but no Asian. Uh, but we, we collected a bunch of questions from people in the audience, and we would love to, to unpack some of them with you. Are you down to it? To I am. With us? I am. I'm nervous. Okay. Do you want to pick? I think it'd be oh. more fun if you okay, pick. Okay, I'll, I'll pick. Do I should I look before I pick or just pick I, at random? You know, whatever. Let follow me just your pick heart. At random. Yeah. If it's stupid, you can say it too. All right. We shame people. Um, on our are we saying game. who wrote them? Uh, we'll see. Let's okay. see what they wrote first. All right. It says, "Does the Rock hate his dad's side of family?" Whoa. One hundred percent. Duck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that even a question? That's the, yeah. that's the black side, right? Yeah. 
And it's a lot to hate because he has like 30 siblings on his dad's side. Does he? Damn, it's his dad lot. was like that? 30 is hyperbolic, but it might be like 23. It's a lot. Whoa. Damn. One, yeah, one of the siblings did a documentary about it, and they like find more rock daddy. Wait, I have so many questions. It was sounds like a sibling... black mamba enthusiast. <laughs> <laughs> Was this si sibling equally buff? Is he like uh, also a big old buff man? Who... Some are buff. Um, some, <laughs> some are buff. <laughs> some show what Rock would look like if he did not stay in the gym. Uh, um, I got to see that. Yeah, yeah you know, I'll, I'll find it. Yeah, you got to text me that. It, but this, it is real. I watched it. Damn. So The Rock has all these siblings that yeah. he, I assume he's not doing right by them. I mean, Wait, you don't, you, you don't have to do right by grown-up siblings if you just got them. Um, That's fair. If you came up together, then yeah, you for yeah. sure got to pay his rent even though he's a loser. Yeah. But if you just got him, that's just a guy. That's just a dude. I mean... That's just, that's just a guy. <laughs> that's just a dude you met at Chipotle. It's like a... Yeah. That's just a less buff version of you. That's all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably provide a little bit for the ones that look like me. Yeah, the closer you, you look know. like me to me, yeah. the more money. Okay, you so get. the buff ones get some extra cash. Yeah, because they're maintaining the family. Uh, right. right. You understand there's a rock brand to carry forward. Right. right. I okay. would also incentivize, like, if you got buffer in the time that I knew you, oh. more money. Come on, man. That's That's Do some push ups. Maybe I'll take care of that yeah. car note. <laughs> yep. All of a sudden, yep. that Maximus yep. paid off. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you only got to do Uber part-time. Yeah. <laughs> Just the eats. <laughs> <laughs> I do think, I think The Rock uh, certainly has, has a real complicated relationship with his, his racial identity now. But I don't know that he did the whole time. You know what I mean? There are some guys where you're like, oh, you hated, you hated being a nigga the whole time. Mm. Say names, Langston. Come on, brother, don't. <laughs> we in Hollywood. <laughs> they already took our, our business from us. That's true. That's I don't right. need to burn every bridge. That's true. You know who you are. <laughs> I mean, they say you are what your mama is. Oh, that's true. You know. That's very true. I think we've talked about this a few times on the podcast. We've called it white mom syndrome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> where, where more often than not, a mixed kid with a white mom, that nigga funny. <laughs> Black mom, that's a cool guy. Yeah. You pretty much like hanging out with him. You Few exceptions. Him. Drake, I think, seems like a fun hang. But I don't know if that's more money that makes him a fun hang. And and sort of the, Ooh, the cartoonish wait, lifestyle. Not like Drake yeah. Ma'am, you oh are very passionate. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it almost feels like Drake hurt you directly. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't I don't I think I don't think he even hates it. I think it's just a business decision. Mm. I think which is even sadder. Right. Yeah. Because he's then, a machine. He's a money machine. Like mm -hmm. it's all calculated. So like that's how I feel about it. What do you think? Do you think he hates do you think he hates his book? I, I think I think I think you're probably right that this is more a money maneuver. I think it's the same reason he loves Kevin Hart and hates Tyrese Gibson. <laughs> which oh, is so backwards. <laughs> Tyrese is so much more fun than Kevin Hart. Tyrese is the greatest. I, that, that nigga will cry about anything. That, you got to keep him around. He's passionate. Yeah, I love Tyrese. <laughs> <laughs> You're not yeah. a Tyrese fan? I mean, I ain't going to say all that, but the man cries a lot. It's excessive. <laughs> that's the new man. He's just I, progressive. I, I, I love an emotional man, but that's too much. Tyrese is the future, baby. I friends with him. No, no. <laughs> that is not what we want. <laughs> Please. Someone who also cries, I, I'm Team Tyrese, man. <laughs> Let it flow. Let it flow, no, no, sweet no, no. lady. Uh, okay. <laughs> Should we do another okay. one? Should we pick one more? I, just yeah, say, I don't think The Rock hates his, his black Oh, you don't, you don't believe that? No, no, no. I don't think he hates it. He just doesn't know them. Mm. I, mean, oh, okay. I think he don't know those people. Like he didn't even spend summers, you think? It was just oh, like... A, no, no, no. I watched that documentary. You learn about that daddy. He's a wild one. Okay, this one starts in a way I like. Uh, my white friends never offer a washcloth. Okay. Messed up, question mark. Mm. Why, question mark. Mm. 
I've never understood this one either. Yeah. Here's the thing. <laughs> I don't like it. I grew up with a white father, uh, and he didn't offer me a washcloth <laughs> for a long time. If I'm being completely transparent, there were years where I was where I was half the week unwashed cloth. Oh no. Because just... it wasn't an option and it wasn't until I got old enough to advocate for myself right. to be like, I demand a washcloth in this house. My my 40 washcloths and a mule. Mm -hmm. I like to think your dad caught you with a washcloth like it was weed or something. <laughs> <laughs> what like, the fuck you doing? Who taught washcloth? you how to do this? <laughs> You get this? He's was it hit, your mother? He's hitting me with it when it's wet. <laughs> Little snaps. Now, how did you wash? The, did you take the bar and put the bar on your body, or did you put liquid soap in your hand and wash with your? I hand? personally was a was a rub in your hands and then take the hand to the body. You rub the whole okay. bar. That, I, in, yeah, whole bar in the hand, but then hand goes to the body. It felt disrespectful to put bar to anus. That, yeah, it is. That's good. That, that is... feels rude, and I don't, I don't care for that behavior. And I would hope, and we have plenty of white people here to advocate for yourselves, I would hope that you all feel the same way. I hope that that is at least a tradition we can agree upon. They I all look hand shifty hand during hand. this. I don't yeah. like it. I know, right? And they're all looking around. I and I don't... Now, there's one dude in the back who feels very passionate about yeah. it. I respect that. If you're going bar to booty hole... That's nasty. Yeah, that's just bad behavior, I think. That's not cool. And also, if you don't wash your legs, that's not appropriate either. Yeah. Uh, that's... You, you, it's a part of the body. You have to complete the process. Hey, give them one step at a time. Bar the booty hole. <laughs> they got a lot to unpack. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, don't right. force it all down their throats at mm -hmm. once. Bar the booty hole. Let's work that out of your system. Mm -hmm. And then we can work our way up to legs and feet and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Nasty. I, it's just, it's just making, how do you go in there and you not do the whole thing? Yeah. It's like it's taking a half a shit. Like you're not done. Oh. <laughs> like, you're just like, I'll do that later. I got shit. I got white guy shit to do. You, you would be wiping for so long if you just took a half a shit. You have to wipe for so long. <laughs> it's like a consistency situation. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's see. Let's do one more. We got one All more. Right. In. Um, I feel like I, ch I chose them all. Uh, I love hearing somebody read out loud. To I them know. Stories. Shout out, shout out to well, Pap some for of the writing handwriting his name is crazy. on it. Oh, this. Oh, wait. Which one you? Got? No, that's just my friend Pap. He wrote his name on it. Nobody else did. That. <laughs> you want, you want to do his? Okay, let's do his. He's he's a friend. I like this name, Pap. Okay. Do you think the Montgomery brawl was a distraction from the aliens? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa! Shit! Let's go! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm I was hearing, ready for that. I'm hearing from the wings. It's the opposite. That. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even really know what that means <laughs> fully, but but I do. Mm -hmm. I I I I feel hesitant to say that I think that the fight itself was the result of, of them trying to distract us. Now, I will say the popularity of the fight feels a little disturbing. I mean, do you ever Why? Wonder... It was amazing. No, 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 no. Let yeah. me be clear. I'm a big fan of the videos. I watch them every night before I go to bed. Yeah, it's like, it's like affirmations. Yeah. <laughs> I say my prayers. Mm -hmm. Then I watch a nigga get punched in the face. And then I say, night, night, baby girl. <laughs> and I go to sleep. I'm a big fan. But I am saying that, like, it reached a level of popularity where, like, we now, I don't know how many people saw this picture. Police officers are now taking pictures where they're holding folding chairs. Okay, so do you ever wonder if big folding chair has something to do <laughs> Keep with going. the Montgomery? Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Keep going. Because I'm not going to say that they set that whole fight up. Is What I'm going to say is, is that them chairs have been selling out since that fight. Yeah. And I'm going to say somebody with folding chair in their name is making a lot of money right, right now. Oh, yes. Doug Doug folding, folding chair. chair. <laughs> They're eating, okay, at the folding chair dining table. Fuck. I like that. You I think the folding chair family sits on folding chairs? 
No, no, no. They're too no, rich for that. They're better no. than that. No, never. Yeah. They've been, they've been Maybe they seem relatable. Sure, it's like how Bill Gates, he ain't using a, he ain't using a fucking Dell. <laughs> <laughs> he, got a, he got an iPhone like the rest yeah, of us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's like, Xbox, yeah, that's the one I like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so you, you're, you're not bought into the alien of this all? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, we did not talk about those aliens at all. That's no. what I'm wild. saying. But also, I don't know if they really found no aliens. I just, I, I feel like the aliens would have come out by now. I don't know if humans can contain the aliens. Like, mm. I think their technology is far beyond us. But what so. if it wasn't a bunch of them? Or it was just a couple? Just one dude? Like the Asian people in your family that you didn't know they were there. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a couple hiding this whole time. Yeah, it's not and enough you still for don't you believe to, in them. It's not enough for you to brag about. You're kind of like, yeah, I think maybe he's a little Chinese. I don't right, know. Right, right. I don't know. I mean, I, I do believe in aliens. I just don't know. Okay, you don't think humans. We... Yeah, I don't know if we, we could do that. Uh, uh, Boy, where are you with this? <laughs> If I got to speak for my algorithm personally, yeah. how it changed from alien to folding chair, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say, yeah, this has legs. Because this, my shit was like a lot of, like more than I'm comfortable. It was like butts, aliens, yeah. butts, aliens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> everything changed. <laughs> now it's butts, folding chairs, butts, yeah, yeah, folding chairs. Yeah. 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 And you're like, yeah, and you're like I'm home, I'm yeah. back. <laughs> This is what my homepage is supposed to be. Mm-hmm. How do you Damn. feel about it? I I think I I I believe that the the Alabama brawl was just a magical moment that that truly should not have been caught on camera, and yet was caught on thirty nine cameras. Yep. <laughs> yep. And I I think it is it is something we should celebrate annually. Uh, I I think it is yeah. I think it is the reason. We should call our family that we haven't spoken to in a while. Let use that as the as the gateway back in to be like, Mom, I know we haven't been on the best terms, but I saw a man get punched so hard that he jumped off of a dock. Can we I, talk? I think old boy who swam across shouldn't have to pay taxes. I like that. Yeah. I think Yeah. I like Aquaman. that. Yeah, lifetime. Yeah. I also it's the first time I've been thankful for camera phones in society. Because if somebody right? had told me that story, I'd be like, you're lying. Yeah. Before, <laughs> before camera phones, I would have been like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. That's why I don't come over here. You're always lying. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, you saw a guy swim yeah. across and knock somebody out? Yeah. Okay. A man swam half a mile through the Gulf of Mexico <laughs> to punch another dude in the head. And you're like, no, yeah. stupid, that's not real. Yeah. And then you see it, and you're like, "That's the strongest boy that's ever lived." Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I was very happy though that enough people were already fighting, so that by the time he got across, he could catch his breath. Like he didn't have to immediately get in a melee. Yeah. Because when, yeah. when I saw him, I was like, "Ooh, them arms gonna be gone yeah. by the time you gotta square up." I was like, "No, they got you." No, the you're right. He, assembled. he took a minute. He, yeah. I mean, he sort of lingered one. in the back. He was like chilling for a second, catching his breath, and then he waited till one dude fell down, and he just. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. I, I, it was truly beautiful. If you go home tonight, when you go home tonight, watch the videos again and pick a new main character every time. Yep. Just choose it. It don't matter which side you choose. It can be a white side. It can be a black side. Pick a new main character. Just follow their journey all the way to the end of it. Because you got to see yeah. the complete arc of the story. Yeah. yeah. My, wife, my wife referred to it as uh, niggas sleep no more. And I was like, yeah. That's a real New York reference, but y'all, they get it. You're going to get it. <laughs> and it has one of my most favorite hood things caught on that camera, the pull-up pants clap, run up the fire. Yeah. Like the, it made me so happy. It was like, yes! Yeah. The hood, nigga, the hood nigga uh, Casper slide. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Casper just R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. Casper. R.I.P. Casper. Damn. To the left. <laughs> Take it back now, yeah. Damn, he's doing the Charlie Brown in heaven now. Yeah. One time. Yeah. <laughs> Chandra Russell, everybody. Yeah. Keep it going for Chandra. Thank you. Thank you guys for having me.
Our next guest, you you good? Fuck yeah. <laughs> Our next guest is is oh we're so I we're so I'm very excited. We're so excited he's here. He is a provocateur in in my life in so many ways. He causes chaos. He's hilarious. He is a phenomenal uh, rapper, writer, uh, performer of all sorts, comedian, and he, yeah, he's just the fucking best. Give it up for Zach Fox! Yeah! Hey, look. Look, they have to see Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wonderful, oh. wonderful. I mean, I've been itching up there to talk about Countess Vaughn. Man, I was like, "Come on, yeah, hurry up, nigga. Tell hurry up. Up. stand up, Tell for your girl. Get me! I almost jumped off the fucking steps. <laughs> Please Elbowed tell you him. in the head, nigga. Please tell him. We fucking the shit out of Countess Vaughn. Come on. Come on, that was crazy. And fuck all y'all in here. <laughs> Black <laughs> women, men too, man. You gotta give some fucking props to Countess Vaughn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she feel like a chicken nugget that can sing real good. <laughs> <laughs> Bad as shit. And I'm trying to get 20 I for look. $10. Right. <laughs> Do they text you those deals, too? And I get it. I get, I get what... <laughs> and that, I get what you... Why you don't fuck with it? It's the neck. I, and I get come that. Come on. Come on. Now we're talking. But to yeah. me, that's what you don't like is the neck? Well, it's one of the things. But you for... <laughs> But you from you from Chicago. I'm from Georgia. I see that all the time. Right. That's that, no neck country. That's that's no neck country. That, yeah. that <laughs> when you see a bitch with that limited neck, yeah, ain't nothing yeah. wrong with that. That just means she got sucked dick with the whole top half of her body. Oh my god! <laughs> like them like them gooses that you put in the water. <laughs> Dip in the water. Yeah. That drinking duck. <laughs> <laughs> and every nigga need that once in his life. You're right. I, I've never had that. <laughs> I think you gotta listen. You gotta go to Pornhub, type in no neck, no neck, <laughs> take it in, and then come back and tell yeah. me what you baddies think. that go from shoulder to chin. <laughs> yep. Watch three of them videos. You are gonna be begging and for I'll some countess. Like, countess. Watch three of them doing their work in the back of a Jimmy John's. <laughs> or whatever those... Countess, I was wrong, baby girl. <laughs> I was oh, wrong man. about you. you. Take your ass down to Georgia. Get you a bitch that's uh. That can sing and she built like Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> <laughs> you will never go back. You're right. I got some, I got some learning to do. Yeah, I re- <laughs> and that's what's in, that's what's powerful about this podcast is that we always walk away and we learn a little something. Something. Yeah. And and today I learned a little something. <laughs> I need a bitch with no neck. <laughs> Try it on, man. Life's short. <laughs> the Langston Kermit story. <laughs> yeah. No neck bitch bitches. No <laughs> that shit sound like a Quan Mills book. Bro, I would buy it. I would buy that book and I would show people in the airport. Like they'd be like, what are you reading? I'd be like, the new Kermit. <laughs> new Quan Mills. Yeah. It's called She Ain't Got No Neck and it's a nigga like this. <laughs> I'm kind of a bookworm. <laughs> Zach, you... you. There's no transition. Zach, yeah. you... You came not with a conspiracy theory, but you mentioned a conspiracy theory to me in the past uh-huh. that Big. I got very excited about and okay. have been waiting to talk to you about, mostly in a public place. <laughs> okay. But, but you came with a conspiracy theory that I couldn't be more excited about. You said, and I, I hope we can get it up in time or we can slide through whatever the fuck. Uh, yeah, that there was never a chicken wing shortage. Oh, yeah, no, nah, that never happened. That never happened. We've had multiple conversations uh-uh. where Zach has been very adamant that there was not only never a chicken wing shortage. There was a surplus. It's too many chickens. <laughs> <laughs> they don't That's... know what to do with them. And they know if they let them all out and that we had that much access to them, nigga, we, if black people would make a new Japan. We would just come up with, we would I have a whole man. new country. Listen, as someone who took the chicken wing shortage very seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I was in multiple group texts. And this, I don't know if the timing is because of this, I bought a gun during the chicken wing show. Whoa. And, and therein lies my theory. I brought a brand new gun. So You get enough niggas that hungry. <laughs> also, there was just too many signs that it was happening. Tell me this, chicken wing shortage and then Wingstop comes out with the thigh bites? That doesn't seem crazy to you? It's the same timing. Ooh. And you, did you try the thigh bites? Trash. Listen, listen. 
I'm not I'm not ever going to say it was not a shortage. I'm just saying it was a curated shortage in order to boost the you're, other shit you think it was like about. some kind of insider chicken wing trading yeah. situation. You're saying at the end of the day we never ran out of chicken wings. They just decided they were no longer going to serve enjoy, us. Have the you chicken been wings. around chickens? <laughs> Not they that don't much. stop fucking and they don't stop laying. And you can't have a chicken shortage. If it's a, if you got a hundred chickens right now yeah. in this bitch, you got three hundred chickens. <laughs> And that's simple math, y'all. <laughs> you have to fuck up in order to not have 300 chickens yeah, in this bitch. Yeah, yeah. It's you, also like, how come there was no titty shortage? Mm. Talk about it. There was, I, I believe he's referring to the chicken breast. Right, the breast. <laughs> the breast. You gotta keep up. I, if I, gotta, you gotta come on, keep man. Up. We supposed my, to be here. Hey, my boy's working in the year 2028. You gotta be where he's at. I'm chicken. saying, so because <laughs> there's two titties right. and two wings to every chicken, I assume. Right. Or is, is, is two titties. Yeah, it's, it's two titties. Uh, I think they have two. two. Titties. two I, titties. I think chickens have two breasts, right? It's, it's two breasts. It's two titties. Okay, yeah. then yeah. Why was the, and there was no drumstick shortage. It was only a wing shortage. Mm -hmm. And that is, that's, that is that's catchy. suspicious. There wasn't a chicken breast shortage because only Italians eat that nasty ass shit. That's <laughs> And we don't pay attention to them. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they did have a shortage. I'm not checking on chicken breast, though. Right. That's a good point. There's I have never, never looked up the chicken breast NASDAQ. No, there's seen. never been a chicken parm shortage no. ever. Nobody Damn. cares. Damn, Nobody they do cares. love chicken breasts. Right. Because I, I don't fuck with chicken breasts. I hate chicken breasts. You fuck it's, with chicken breasts? I like a I chicken breast. Chicken no, breast. it's... Is that, I know that's not a popular... I, I'm a white meat man sometimes. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I... And I know it's not the coolest thing. Hey, I don't have my hat backwards, but I like chicken breast. Don't do that. Don't do that. I like a good traditional breast. Don't down this king for your shitty opinions. Yeah. Chicken breast. It's, like it's like the Tim Duncan of the chicken. <laughs> like, you mean the greatest power forward in the history yeah, of the game? See, now we, now we get this to is the what happens. That's this just what pure happens. fundamental titty. You're just like fundamental chicken? Yeah, I love a fundamental chicken you like titty. A, you like a triangle titty. Yeah. Like just a classic pick and roll titty. <laughs> just, sit, just sit in the paint and wait on the ball. Yeah, you don't talk away. trash. It's like not a lot of flash, but good <laughs> fundamentals. Yeah. No flair. None of those tattoos. Could yeah. dunk, but yeah, no. Yeah, you don't got to dunk. I don't want to offend A nice anyone. clean layup is just fine for him. That's how I feel about chicken nobody breasts. Ever, nobody ever got to a breast and was like, I got to put lemon pepper on this motherfucker. That's true. Exactly. That is true. Nobody that, was like, I, I got to hard fry this breast. I, like, will say, never... I will say that that is the fucked up thing with chicken breasts is people stop doing fun things with them when you get to chicken Because breasts. they're fucking nerds, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they they the really fucking leave... indoor kids of the chicken body. <laughs> Fuck the breast. That's insane. <laughs> They don't do nothing fun. They just they don't do anything the breasts. cool. The breasts they pay the their bills school. on time. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Those breasts listen to John Mayer on a quiet Sunday night. Yeah. That's what chicken breasts are into. Them breasts get they uh, political opinions from J. Cole. Like, hey, <laughs> this is not the nigga you want to hang out with. I think, he, I think he's got a lot yeah. to say. <laughs> and I think after he started reading, he, he got smarter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what was the first book J. Cole wrote, read when he was like, all right, I'm going to get into this well, shit? He was like, uh, The I, Alchemist. I was going to say 50 Laws of Power. Yeah, it was something, or 48 it was something laws stupid. Power. No, he read 50 Laws of Power. That was by, 50, by 50 Cent. cent. <laughs> <laughs> 50 Laws of Power by, 50, by Curtis Jackson. <laughs> As read by Curtis Jackson. <laughs> First law, don't get shot. That shit sucks. It Last hurts. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Zach, one of the things that I know you also mentioned to me when we talked about this previously is that you didn't believe, and maybe you still don't, that there's ever been a shortage of anything. Mm -mm. That whenever they say that something has run out or we mm -hmm. don't have anything, you're like, nah, I'm not buying it. Once Bro. again, as a survivor of many marijuana droughts. Come on now. Yeah. I, there's that shit go, that shit used to, before it was legal, that shit used to go dry all the time. There's, yeah. there's all kinds of shortages. There'd be shortages sometimes genuinely, but I think my conspiracy 
shit always rests with the fact that every time America says there's a shortage of something, mm -hmm. either they're trying to make more money off of it, make more money on another thing, or mm -hmm. they lost access to a thing. There's never an oil shortage, there's just a nigga with a, a big ass... A hat on in Saudi Arabia who's, I was who's going, so, uh, 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 <laughs> uh, 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 not today. I was so yeah. nervous about what you were going to call it. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I defaulted to hat. Yeah, right when you started right doing that, when you do the hand motion, uh, it's good. You know what's crazy? Hat. hat might be the most disrespectful yeah. thing <laughs> you could have landed on. You call my shit a hat, <laughs> fuck nigga. <laughs> fuck you. Now we not going to have no gas because <laughs> your ass out here calling it a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Biden at home stressing. Shit. He called it a hat. All right, hit the button. Fuck. Call him, call him. I'll, I'll stutter through this. Call him. They drone, they drone strike the Hollywood improv. <laughs> get rid of the evidence. Just get rid of it. He called it a hat. But I do, I do take your point that, that granted, uh, the oil is a great example, right? For gas, we saw that massive peak in in the the pandemic and obviously in the recent years where it was fucking crazy yeah. we were paying like six dollars for a gallon of gasoline and what year was that that was 2021 2022 yeah 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 and all that shit been happening over there i mean it was happening in 2013 arab spring happened gas go up yeah this shit th this thing happens the gas go up niger is about to have a revolution they got all the they got all the tech minerals and shit that we got to build iphones and shit they're going to say it's an iPhone shortage. And it's I don't like want to be that guy, but we are they, talking about chicken. He wants to go back. <laughs> right. He wants to go back. He wants to. I mean, we got off topic. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. Chicken expands. Yeah. Oh, chicken, chicken is a universe. Oh, we're talking about growing. like important commodities. <laughs> chicken, and chicken close is, second. Close second come to on, oil. Man. Yeah. But maybe it's not. It's iPhones and then chicken, for sure. In, in the my life, In yes. the hierarchy of needs. But I don't have a driver's license. Okay. Yeah. I don't like that reaction. <laughs> yeah. It always gets a little sad when you say that, because it's like, oh. It's not sad. I, I could afford a car. Yeah, no, it's, I, I, it's not a concern See, I don't like for having to yell about it. It's not a concern for your wealth. It's more what why you why don't, don't have you... one in the first place. Man, they took it from me, and then I was like... <laughs> They took it from it. me in 2009, and I was like, you're right. <laughs> I don't deserve to have this. I, I was like 20, I was driving drunk, and then I was like, ah, maybe I just don't get back in. Yeah. But you, you're a different guy now. You could go get it back now. This is not what this is about. We're talking about... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm not a different guy. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you give me the possibility, I'm going to get behind that wheel drunk again. <laughs> I will kill thousands. <laughs> Yeah, I'll figure not. out how to kill thousands. I got a fucking thirst. <laughs> Don't, this is, these are bad impressions of me. <laughs> I don't like this at all. I, it's, it's not fun. I don't, I, this isn't what it's you about. You go get in that whip with eight Popeye's buckets and Countess Vaughn in the, in the passenger seat. Come on. And kill 30 Mexican families riding through L.A. That's what's going to happen, David? <laughs> First of all, I would make Countess drive. I would make Countess drive. No, because she can't check her uh, blind spots oh, as well. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> this is the best day of my whole life. Before we, before we let Zach go, we should play a game of... Uh, quick, quick pro, pro, pro ho. ho. Yeah, let's yeah, do it. We, oh, have what's that? Let we have a brand new game that we... we introduced last night in Seattle and it was a lot of fun and we're really excited to see you play it. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. It's, it's a game <laughs> called Quid Pro Quo, ho. Okay. The way that this game works, Zach, is we are going to introduce to you a possibility. going to make me sad. Uh, <laughs> okay. That's Sammy. Sammy's doing all right. Uh, he's a little, Papi, he no black. He's a little jaundiced, but he's okay. <laughs> that nigga look like your favorite part of the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> And hey, num, 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 you know what I mean? Let me get a bite, Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> but the way this game works is we are going to introduce to you a, a possibility for the future. A, a possibility, a hopeful possibility in most cases. But that possibility comes with a condition. 
It is a condition that you may or may not be comfortable uh, agreeing to, and we just want to get your take on whether or not you, in fact, will go along with this possibility. Okay. 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 I'm ready. This is big. I think we're ready. Lori, you want to do it? Okay. 90% of black people will vote in every single election, Uh but we erase the big dick rumor. No! I mean, no. look at look at how bad <laughs> look how bad that looks. Yeah. No. <laughs> that don't look good, y'all. But no. how bad do you want more public parks? Come on, man. No. Come on, man. You can don't make me do this. Don't make me do this. You can fix redlining tonight. Wait, tonight. wait, 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 wait. Okay. Wait, wait. Let, let's back up. So we erase the big dick rumors. But we big, still got big dicks. The big dicks. You relax. All right. All right. Cool. You got to relax. You scared me. You scared hey, me. Hey, the, the lost rumors are still true. <laughs> All right, not for me, but other people. <laughs> so the rumors go away. There, there's no chance that I'm at a bar in Ohio after, no. after nope. a show and a dude's like, hey, you better get the big dick. Yeah, yeah, no, it goes away. So that just. Why is your example of some dude in Ohio for. <laughs> <laughs> that was insane. That's what that's what you're worried about not happening anymore? Yeah. <laughs> Some drunk white guy being like, let me touch it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what life you had live on the road, but that's fair, that's fair. It is weird you out just there. Get crazy. It is weird out there. I'm, I think if we can keep the dicks, we keep them, right? We you can keep you keep, keep the dicks you have. I think I'll take it. I'll take it. Yeah. yeah. Here's <laughs> the world stops bothering us. Well, here's, here's what makes me nervous with this, because I agree with you. If you keep your penis, we're fine, right? But here's where I get nervous, is that part of what the big dick does, it, it, it creates a little bit of a social hierarchy that bleeds into everything we fucking That's do. That's 100% right. You know what I mean? That, That's like, 100% part right. Of, part of the respect that we gain in society is rooted in the fact At that they presume thinking, yeah. That we got a big old penis. You never got a there. couple extra nuggets, and you were like, "Why did she do that?" And so you think like, you think <laughs> <laughs> you think the Migos wouldn't have been as big as they were if on, white man. people didn't think that they had big dicks? They I, were, I don't think they that. were running around in skinny jeans, bro. The yeah, first couple years, yeah. they would have been like, "Look at these little dick weirdos." Yeah, rapping and, and falling asleep sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and look how bad that picture looks. That is a bad fucking picture. I hate looking at it. So wait, this is, they would be making memes of us like this yeah. and posting it? Yeah, oh, yeah, no, nah, yeah. yeah, fuck voting. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Let the country die. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Fox, everybody. <laughs> Thank y'all, man. Appreciate yeah. y'all. This oh, is fun yeah. as hell. <laughs> <laughs> is she good? Fuck yeah. All right. I mean, we can do another one. We can do another one. Oh, this is fun. We can take this to the audience. Oh, we, yeah. Let's, we make one let's of you do an audience choose. volunteer. Yeah, and, let's do and that. This is what we did last night. It was a lot of fun. Okay, we, we need a volunteer from the audience. It's got to be a black person, unfortunately. <laughs> Sorry, golf boys, Fellas. but you're going to have to sit this one out. But we, but, but we love a... You're both pointing at each other. Neither one of you seems to actually want this, and that hurts my feelings. You're down? Do it. You're Come into on. it? What's your name? Give it up for Xavier, everybody. Okay, Xavier. Uh, we're we're going to play a game of quid pro quo ho. Yeah, that's the way it's pronounced. Okay, the, uh, you know how the game works. We're going to present it to you. I'll read this one. Okay. <laughs> a nigga finally knocks out Jake Paul. Knocks him out clean. But. Bad. But we all have to start wearing those G-Unit tank tops. Exclusively. Only. Only. Don't do that thing where you're like, nah, I'll just wear a shirt underneath. No. All the time. Barbecues, family events. G-Unit tank top. All summer long, sports bra, you. Yeah. And remember, you got to think about your body. And that's not a judgment of your body, but you know your body. You know it ain't going to look good in this shit. But Come you got to wear that. 50 couldn't pull it off. What do I get to wear over? Nothing, big dog. No, it's just. That's summer clothes. That's winter clothes. <laughs> D- 
Damn. Yeah. He's saying we can't knock out Jake Paul. Not at the sacrifice of the G-Unit tank tops. Did you ever try a G-Unit tank top? I didn't, but I wanted to. Oh, no. I'm not even going to lie to you. You I, saw it in the video, and you were like, I need that. Here's, here's, what, here's the problem is, at the time, I was playing ball, right? You know, I was, like, hooping for my school. Right. We were, we'd be in the gym. We'd be, like, lifting weights. And I was still, I was probably 14, but in your mind, you're a big old strong you're buff man. guy. You're a big man. And then you see 50 Cent put it on, and you're like, yeah, I'm going to be a big old strong buff guy too. And that's not true. And thank God I had two discerning parents who were like, no. I'm not spending $50 on the worst outfit of all time. <laughs> but I deeply, deeply wanted to be a G-Unit tank top guy. Wow. Yeah. You never wanted it? Not even one time. <laughs> It's not for fat guys, though, too. Okay. It's like, that's a crazy... Yeah, yeah. That's a crazy look for a big fat guy. Yeah. Uh, like, he comes up in a G-Unit tank. You don't know what's going on. Yeah. You don't know what that man's going to do. It keep. seems... He has I, ill intentions. He's wearing a G-Unit tank top <laughs> at 250. Are you crazy? It truly seems like a nightmare for a fat guy to be in a G-Unit tank top, lift his arms up, and his belly starts to show. Oh, my God. Come on. Look how good they make their titties look. Only extrapolate that. Yeah. Fuck. It's not a... Yeah, no, I, ne I was never... I was never... You never once did a G-Unit tank top. No, no, no. I mean, I wanted to be in G-Unit like everybody, but not... Sure. I would have just worn, like, one of those. Were you... Were you... Were you, Did you have, like, a favorite member of G-Unit, or was it just the, the collective where you're like, fuck yeah, this is it? It's tough because it's like, you know, 50's a dark king, but I, I, I did appreciate Lloyd Banks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I really mm -hmm. loved The Hunger for More. I think that if I had to pick one, yeah. you know what? I have main character syndrome. I, it was 50 Cent. It was 50, 50 Cent. Cent. Yeah. yeah. Who I think your, 50's the right answer. Who was your... Who I think if you were rooting for somebody, it was probably 50. I like Tony Yeah, I wasn't going to say, like, the game. That'd be crazy. I like Tony Yayo, but it's... What the fuck are you talking about? Are Hear me out. Me? Hear me out. You like chicken breast and Tony Yayo. <laughs> Bro, that's the... Hear me out. Tony Yayo was a silly billy. I like a good silly billy. I've always liked a silly billy. In the way that a clown is a silly billy, yes. Yes. So you didn't, you didn't, you weren't like, I want to be like Tony Yayo. No. You were like, this guy's He was so in prison. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I liked my free life. Okay, I get that. But I, I was like, nah, this dude, yeah, he's going to do he's some funny. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a silly billy. He's going to talk some shit and, and get everybody in a fight that they didn't really want to be in. This is great. Okay, but I will say that things are stacking up against that. I'm still, I'm still thrown from the white meat thing. Yeah, you don't like, you don't like the chicken breast. I had years without a washcloth. This is all. No, the washcloth thing wasn't your fault. Yeah. It's not your fault. Damn. It's not your fault. <laughs> You're going to Goodwill hunting me? Fuck that. It's not your fault. <laughs> Langston, it's not your fault. I really am starting it, to feel something. Yeah. It's not your fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> Please don't keep going. <laughs> That's for the end of the tour. I am scared I'm going to cry, and then what? <laughs> And then what, we lose our following? All 88 people? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we should pick an audience yeah, member first. Oh, this brother right up front. Hell yeah. Yeah, all right. What's, What's your, your name? name? Brandon. 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 Hell yeah. Strong name. I like that. Okay, Brandon. Uh, give it up for Brandon one time. You already see it. You, you want to do it? Yeah. Kendrick for president, but Samoans take over R&B forever. Forever. I was half drunk when I wrote this. It's so hard, though. At first, you're like, I get it. But then you're like, I don't know. And, and keep in mind, while you're thinking about this, keep in mind, when, we, when they take over R&B, it's not just new R&B. They, they get that thing where they go, historically, this all comes from Samoan music. Earth, Wind, and Fire, Samoan. We did that. 
the Isley brothers stole that from the the other brothers. I don't I, know. I don't know what Simone's last name either. Johnson, I don't know. <laughs> but Kendrick could do a lot of good. Yeah, he could rap fast. Oh man. You he know say, he's saying no shade to his Samoan brothers and sisters, but unfortunately, y'all don't get to get R and B. I mean, you know what I like finding out about this is how much black people love the stuff we make. It does yeah. make me feel good. Cause nobody we've been playing this game for two nights now, and nobody's really trying to help anybody out. It does. If Usher's gotta be white. Like nobody <laughs> It is crazy revealing how, how many people are sort of not trying to fix the greater problems that we, we face in society. I mean, not if it's going to cause bigger problems. Yeah. Look at that picture. No. That sucks. That's bad. Oh. You're, oh, you're worried about the sanctity of R&B. What you're saying is you don't think Samoans are sexy. Damn. I will say that that Jodeci is a very different energy if if it's just a bunch of thick neck dudes. Just a bunch of just a bunch of Target dudes. <laughs> bunch of Miami Dolphins singing forever, my lady. <laughs> oh, Samoan Casey yeah. and JoJo would be crazy. Yeah, I like my Jodeci on crack, man. I can't. Yeah. Cause if he's so big, how's he gonna ride on that guy's neck eating chicken? You can't let the Samoan up like that. <laughs> Do you guys remember that video? <laughs> Are we the only I ones who've seen that yeah, video? Yeah. No, I loved it. These people, no. Nah. <laughs> mm. Can Samoans fight? Yeah, but that's the scarers. I that's thought that not, was news. <laughs> that's not necessarily them fighting. Right. Nobody's gonna try and fight them at their own concert. Have y'all ever seen there's a, a I went to junior high school with a bunch and yeah. I saw a pretty violent fight one time. Okay. <laughs> like, you know, it was like scary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kids had we had it was outdoor hallways and I don't know why I'm telling this story. And we had concrete pillars and I came around the court like from math. I was like fat, had fruit by the foot, like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and then I came around the corner and it was just like I was scared the shit out of yeah. me. I didn't even tell anybody. I just walked back away. Fuck. Yeah. So I think they could fight. Okay. But that one could. <laughs> that one dude. He had it. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. It's, it's a tough sacrifice. I think if I had to weigh in on this, I think I, I too don't want to give up R&B. Not the whole history. Nah, not the whole history to, to Samoans. And Kendrick, I love Kendrick. I think he's a, a brilliant artist. But I don't necessarily know that, uh, that, that I trust his political... That's fair. I don't want any rapper to be president for no. real. <laughs> like, it's a good idea on paper. Ha, ha, ha. But, like, then for real, no. Yeah. There's going to be a point where it gets silly. Yeah, Do yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's going to start off really good. Oh, yeah. Yell at the same time. <laughs> but make sure it's different things when you yell it. What are you saying? What are you saying? Tory Lane. Whoa, that's not what we're talking about tonight. You mean the Kim Jong Il of rap? <laughs> it, when I woke up today and I thought about things that I thought could happen at this show, Tory Lane shout out was not one of them. <laughs> Let's just do a moment of silence for that dude who nope, shot a nope, lady in nope, the foot. Nope, nope, nope. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. This is great. Are you pro Tory Lanez? He said, no, I'm just... Hey, 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 wait a minute. Wait a goddamn minute. We all have problematic faves. Tila Tequila is perfect in my book. Also, she ain't tread, done nothing to nobody. Tread lightly. This could start the race war. This feels <laughs> like I don't like the whole setup we're doing right now. I'm so excited to see you rush out of here when the show is over. Pack up yeah, her get home like, safe. Mm, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Stacy. We got to go. <laughs> <laughs> 
don't know. <laughs> and we can't save you. No. Like, we're just no, not. No, I'm not Samoan. I can't fight. <laughs> All right. Well, we had a lot of. I'll tell you, we had a lot of cool guests planned for you. It was crazy. It was gonna be a real. It was gonna be a real hell of a time. But you're gonna have Tory Lanez calling from Tory jail. Lanez, yeah, he was wild. gonna call in. He was gonna be like, "I didn't do it. I swear to God." He was like, "Put money on my books. Nobody's doing it." He was like, "Hold on. Somebody took my phone book from me, so I can't reach the receiver." They stole all my cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> you get it because he's little. <laughs> I got. I loved it. Yeah. Thanks, man. I think you're a funny guy. Thanks. You too. Thanks, man. Well, listen. This was this was fucking cool. This was really. I think fun. we. I think this is this was a great time, guys. I don't. I don't know how you feel. <laughs> but we're extremely grateful that you came out. This is the beginning of our tour. We did Seattle last night, and we're here in LA now, and and we're gonna be on the road for the next month, sort of hitting a bunch of the the cool hot spots and in the Pittsburgh. country and Pittsburgh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know how that happened. We're going to get Mike Tomlin on the podcast. <laughs> or Omar Epps. Who can tell the difference? Man, that's for real. <laughs> but but this, is, this has been a, a wonderful time. We're so grateful that you came out. We are, we're selling some hats out in the, the front, and we have some other shit, and we'll, we would love to say hi to you. If you want to take a take picture. Pictures, hang out, whatever. If but, you take a picture, though, it's got to be with both of us. This girl cut me out of the picture last night. Yo, and it was it, crazy. It hurt my feelings. When that I told Langston I was laughing, but that was to cover it up. It hurt. No, I didn't know it happened, and then, and then it was the first thing Bori told me when I walked in today, <laughs> and I knew it was laying heavy on his heart. You know what yeah. I mean? It was, it was like, like, did you see that lady that cut me out? Ha, ha, ha. Ha, ha. Ha, ha, ha. No, I'm fine. No, it's cool. It's cool. No, I'm not hurt. <laughs> no, she, she got me. But no, we would love to take pictures with you. We'd love to hang out. We'd love to just, just thank you personally for showing up to the fucking show. And as always, if, if you haven't subscribed... Would you say that you're racist? Oh, not at all. No. Yeah. Look at my dog. He's as black as can be. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying to find one to end on. No, it's fine. You made a choice, then uh, I'll shut the fuck up now. No, we should just get out of here. I got one to get out. Okay. I'll say bye, and then I'll. All go, right. So. This is this has been a lovely time. We love you so much. Bye, bitch. Bye.